Drugs. Sickle cell. Um, uh, that's drug they call biological drugs. 80% of countries around the world cannot afford those drugs. Very expensive drugs. So I wrote a paper on it that won the International Trouble Award, telling them that 80% of the people around the world cannot afford these drugs. Just a few kilometers outside Kampala, along Bombo Road in Kigogwa, Matugawakiso District, stands Day Biopharma, a modern pharmaceutical facility redefining healthcare not only in Uganda, but across Africa and beyond. Granulation 1 and Granulation 2 have the high shear granulator and a fluid bed equipment which are used for forming granules and drying off our granules ready for the next stage of manufacturing. The managing and founding director, Dr. Matthias Magola, describes the plant as more than just a manufacturing hub, but a science-led institution driven by the mission to produce high-quality, affordable medicines for both local and international markets. We want to be able to supply, first of all, give our people the standard of drugs, same standard as those that are sold in the U.S., as those that are sold in Europe. Dr. Magola highlights the company's core philosophy, innovation, empowerment and the belief that healthcare is a right, not a privilege. Us setting up this facility is because we want to be able to manufacture drugs that meet the most stringent standards around the world, so that people can get the most modern, modern medicines that they need. See? The facility is already operational, having completed multiple production cycles. The license that allows us full-scale production just came out. That has been the hindrance. Now that we have full license, you are going to see, you are going to see products following. And next month we are thinking we should commission the, the, the largest pharmaceutical campus on the African. This is the largest pharmaceutical campus on the African continent. Key milestones include National Drug Authority certification, research collaborations, and the commissioning of a world-class production line that meets stringent international standards. This idea, we have the quality assurance team. This is where they sit and they do the in-process checks. As the manufacturing process is ongoing, they don't wait for the whole process to be done before they realize that there is something wrong or something is not correct. Day Biopharma manufactures a wide range of essential drugs from anti-malarials to antivirals and is currently testing a promising new HIV formulation and sickle cell treatment drugs. Utilizing advanced biotechnology with all formulations strictly adhering to World Health Organization standards. Our product Clamadine, Clamadine has uh, the active component here is uh, doxycycline. Doxycycline is a tetracycline, a group of antibiotics which are effective against uh, gram-negative bacteria. Uh, doxycycline is used in treatment of uh, common diseases like cholera. It also has efficacy on syphilis. What sets Day Biopharma apart is its fusion of science and tradition, integrating indigenous knowledge and working closely with local herbalists to transform plant-based remedies into scientifically validated treatments. This kind of facility which we are giving them, and we are bringing it to our people, the indigenous herbalists and what have you. Come, you pay some small money, and we do contract manufacturing for you. We put your product on a standard where you can even export your, your product. Ingredients like cassava and maize starch, tree bark, and native roots from the foundation of several formulations. The plant is also developing baby milk from locally sourced dairy. So we want uh, farmers to, to register. We have already signed a memorandum of understanding with the Bosoga Growers, Bosoga, Bosoga Growers Corporation for them to sensitize farmers to, to grow cassava, to grow all the things that we are going to, the factory is going to need. And through that, I have already told you, the, the impact to society will be so huge because they have ready market. While Uganda remains its primary market, Day Biopharma is rapidly expanding into East and Central Africa with plans for global reach through ongoing science 
Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, and United States Food and Drug Administration certification process. So here on my right hand side, there are different types of ant ant antibiotics, which they call the, the penicillins. They are facilitate six flow building. Uh, that's the penicillin. We are going to make those classes of drug in that facility. Uh, both OSD and injectable. Whatever facility I'm showing you here has the component of capsules, tablets, syrup, and injectable. That's why there are six flows on each BUD to cater for that. Now, the next one here is the cephalosporins. Those are class of antibiotics, class of antibiotics. We are going to make uh, capsules, um, we are going to make uh, um, tablets and injectable as well. Beyond medicine, the plant is creating jobs and empowering thousands through local supply chains and community initiatives including education, health and access to clean water. By purchasing local materials, the plant uplifts the village's economy and image. Uh, three, the people have got jobs. The jobs, all the way from, you know, people come here. It's, uh, sometimes, this campus, we are having 5,000 people. <laughs> Dr. Magola acknowledges the support of President Yuri Kaguta Museveni and the government of Uganda in fast-tracking regulatory processes and infrastructure development. He also credits international partners for boosting the company's research and development capacity. Despite its success, challenges persist, including skepticism, limited access to affordable capital, and shortage of skilled professionals. Patents published by U.S. State Patent and Trademark Office. It is the public information. You go, go in, go, go in, and you'll be able to see this. Uh, it's, it's there. The other challenge, raising money in a developing country is very difficult. and the kind of money we are talking about. Dr. Magola calls for targeted tax incentives for local manufacturers and greater investment in science, technology, engineering and mathematics education to develop a scientifically skilled workforce for the future. The president, uh, I thank the president. For me, I told you he's a, he's a vision leader and probably as a country, we shall cry when he is no longer with us. That's when we shall see which kind of leader we've been having for a very long time. People don't see that. I, I told you, he's a person who sees where others can't. They realize much later that hey, he was right. Now, I told you how he guided on a simple, you know, humble formulation that I'd taken. I don't know how he was able to see this. But look what we have here today. More than 3,000 formulations. Day Biopharma isn't just producing medicine, but ensuring sustainable health, jobs, hope, and homegrown solutions for Uganda and Africa's future.